What is going on, guys? It is week seven of the Kyler Murray experience. We are going against the Cowboys. We just came off of a seven-point loss to the Packers. We lost to, I believe, our rivals, the Redskins, who are five and one. Uh, the Cowboys are one and four. The Eagles are one and five. However, Cowboys have an amazing roster, so I'm not exactly sure how they even lost. I think we may have also gotten another uh, another upgrade in throw power. No, we didn't. Okay, I thought we did, but apparently not. Got to do some practice. Got to get ready for the big matchup. Yeah, well, obviously we're gonna have to have a practice. Uh, that's kind of how it works, buddy. Gonna have to do some. Gonna have to get used to it. Stop tapping on our head. You're gonna give us a concussion. Looking to the outside and Golden State with an amazing catch. Probably not the, the throw we we're supposed to make. Uh, I'm just gonna look for anyone open early inside. Shepard, very solid receiver. Uh, honestly, Metcalf has easily been our worst receiver so far. Great timing. I don't know how the hell that cornerback is, or whoever that is, is making making that that gap. And that's not a great decision. We have really big, slow players on the defense of the Giants, but somehow they're just locked down, man. This is completely locked down so far. I mean, look at these routes. Perfect routes, and they're just <laughs> covering them well. Luckily, we got guys that can catch. Could have had a gold. Unfortunately, we missed it by... Uh, by one, probably should have barely even got a silver with some of the throws we made. Just perfect coverage, really. The Dallas Cowboys have an 86 overall roster. We have a 77. We are in Dallas. Look at this stadium. Is it a beautiful one? If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you obviously would have known in our legacy. Technically, it was a primetime franchise. We were the Cowboys at one point, so definitely used to this stadium. Used to those uniforms. We were a very good force to be reckoned with. Dallas has Dak Prescott. Got him some other options. Obviously, Amari Cooper is there. Don't know who they would have drafted in the draft. Obviously, not a first-round player because they traded away that first-rounder for Amari. We are in a lost streak. Cowboys did win their first game last week. So, hey, maybe uh, maybe they're ready to just turn this thing completely around. Hopefully not. Leave it, you know, at least another week. You know, Give it one more week before you decide to, to run a tear. Uh, I can't remember if we... It was a very close win. I think it might have been a seven-point victory, if I'm not mistaken. Saquon wants his 10th career rushing touchdown. We're going to have to throw this away immediately. We can't even do it, and that's the worst way to start. The worst animation in Madden history. And we catch it again for a fumble. Hey, at least we got a goal of not throwing picks. They will score a touchdown immediately. Unfortunately, that's uh, you know that's not the way we want to start this game at all. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Saquon get that throw off and I get it was you know not a good look I mean we should just threw it to him right away instead of trying to take off but we saw Leighton Van Der Esch, I believe sit down and I thought he was you know I thought he was going to cover the running back he left it so last second he decided to change it it didn't work out and unfortunately there's a a blown opportunity they have everything covered Golden Tate's not even really that open and guess what it's a missed throw wildly this has gotten out of hand early. Right, Evan Ingram, you could be the savior here right down. Oh, actually, we're going to run a streak. This is going to intersect with Coleman, but I believe in this streak here. And there's reason to, but it's overthrown and picked off by Gaithers. Kyler Murray's having a horrendous game, and Gaithers actually has a chance almost to take that back. Ugly, ugly star for Kyler Murray, who has been horrendous. Two turnovers already. And with the, the quarter length drained to 12 is it 12 i think maybe 13 minutes we're gonna have less time than most games to try and come back first completion of the game great cut move by golden Tate. absolutely broke the ankles of jordan lewis one completion four attempts eight yards a pick and a fumble second one barkley has a bunch of tight ends in to help him uh get some lanes right up the gut perfect lanes takes the takes the lot you know the great angle he had got 11 yards and it will be a first down, finally. Do we need to rely on the ground game with Kyler just playing absolutely horribly? The worst performance I've ever seen to start it out. And here we're trying to get out in front. We almost get out to Sean Lee, and there's a late hit. Is that going to be by the fullback? I don't think that should be a penalty. What's the flag? Oh, that's very iffy. That's like... Oh, that's so close. We uh, are going to be backed up to the 37-yard line. I don't even trust a curl route with Kyler. 
We're just going to give it to Metcalf, see what he can do with it. Not much. Gets about eh, six yards. I'll take it. And here, Kyler is going to have to take off. Kyler quick enough to almost get the first down. I think he's very close. They're going to call it inches. Went for Shepard. Evan Ingram is going to have a drag. This should be a first down. Pretty easy. We're going to wait for Metcalf here. It was a good decision. Metcalf was the best look. Maybe could have gotten to Shepard, actually, and used Metcalf as a blocker, but we got him involved, and we got a lot of yards. This is a very good run. He should definitely get at least five yards here. Up the middle, not a whole lot of holes. Tries to cut it back left. Trying to go for the big play rather than take what he gets, and he, you know, costs us about five. Metcalf, kind of open, not really. Doesn't even have a chance to hold on. Not a great throw, but he gave him a chance at it. You know, I'd like to see him make the catch just for the hell of it. And, wow, right off the edge. No help whatsoever. Going to lead to field goal, but Jesus. There's that comeback defense holding him to zero points again. Giving us, giving us a chance to bring this to a tie game. I should have taken it. What am I doing? Sitting and thinking. However, Murray is going to have a lot of room. With way Murray's been missing throws, hey, maybe that might have been the best decision after all. Let's see if he can get something. Inside, and of course... A big DT with the awareness to make that play somehow. All right, second and 10, Barkley. Let's see what you can do. We've got lots of personnel here on the line. What? Why aren't you following your... Eh, close enough. Should have been a face mask as well. Up the middle, Wayne Galman with a ton of room. Good blocks, kind of. Across the field, and Coleman holds on to it. What a damn good throw and catch. Saquon up the middle, potentially the last play of the first quarter. He's going to get... The first down and then some all the way down to about the 8-yard line. Did as best as he could to get past that 10-yard mark line. He's real 50-50 at times, but here we are. Up the middle, Barkley's going to get a hell of a lot of yards all the way down to the 1. Pitch to the outside, Barkley has the convoy, easily scores. We tie the game up, good job defense as well. Just as I give the compliment, they give up a score. Why, guys? Here we go, Saquon, get creative. He got pretty damn creative in my book, considering nobody blocked. Is that going to be a face mask? Hopefully it's not a hold, and it will be. What a damn play by Barkley to turn nothing into something. Golden Tate was my main look all the way, and it was a close one there. Good catch. Byron Jones, not an easy guy to throw against. Even how crispy some of these routes are looking, some of the combos, they are tight on our guys across the front. And that's a great read. Tries to pick up the block from uh, his center, I believe. Could not do it. So damn close. Barely got it out there. And uh, we get about five. Up the middle, Saquon Barkley. Interesting look to come back across the field. We pick up a block. He gets hammered, though. Gets the first down, though. McCaff one-on-one with potentially Byron Jones. Not an easy guy to beat, but I think he has him. I think he's got him. And there's Metcalf in for the score to tie the game up. Byron Joe is not easy to beat, but it's not easy. You know, not often Byron gets matched up with a guy that is just that much bigger than him. Going to go with some slants after the defense stops them. It's going to be, uh, you know, pretty much a free drive here as long as we don't throw a turnover. Or throw a turnover, have a turnover. Is that Metcalf again having a big game so far? And he outruns the man, Byron Jones. He finally found a matchup that he actually can win, even though Byron's a great corner. Up the middle, Saquon's going to find some room. Shouldn't have spun. He had the, the lane made Leighton look better than he was there. We're in a good spot to probably score before half again. Going to throw to Metcalf again. It's a missed throw. There is a flag. It could be a late hit. I felt a little bit. Maybe there's a the hold. I don't know. Person over roughing the passer. That's going to be an accept. Wait for it. And thank God the ball got hit. Oh, if he would have kept running, I would have had Corey Coleman. And, oh, Lord. We went face first into Byron Jones. Metcalf maybe could have waited, but Metcalf is fast enough. Metcalf all the way down to the two. Turn up to the line again. We're going to hand this off to Barkley. Somehow they're running goal line off of a hurry up. We're changing our, we're changing our look. Metcalf, not the fastest guy or most elusive guy in the world, but he gets another touchdown. What a play. Great last-second adjustment. I don't know if they're reading our playbook. They got some guy that's on the inside, but they ran commit for that thing on the hurry-up with plenty of time left. So we do get the ball back at the second half, but not until after about five minutes is wasted. 
but no change of score, so that's huge. Can I get Barkley wheeling? Nice. And that's a risky one, and it's a little underthrown. But once again, this offensive line has been horrendous this afternoon. We're playing a good team, but no excuses, and that throw is well behind Barkley. Doesn't know how much time he's going to get, so if he sees a guy open, he's just going to dart it, even if the timing's off. And there it is. What a throw, and guess who? The man's having an afternoon. For once, I could trust the line a little bit. I was starting to get a little paranoid, can't lie. But I believe just enough, and we got it on the run. Perfect throw. Barkley doing about as well as he can. Get some good blocks, but we just got out personnel. He's looked good on route running as well. We've just been missing him on the timing. And that's a rough face mask. But getting a touchdown here would put us in a very, very good spot. I'm going to have to roll out, and I can't throw it. It's going to be a covered sack of two yards. Up the middle, Barkley has a good chance here if they bring no safety help. <laughs> well, they bring safety help. Still, we're going to run it up the middle, and Barkley's going to find the lane. Barkley's going to outrun him to the left side. Barkley's stiff arming down to the two. And that's why you don't... That's why the slants don't always work there. Lane Vander Esch with the sack. Covered sack, really. This isn't a smart play to pitch it with a slow back. Up the middle, Saquon spinning. What a beautiful run. It was even more perfect having to get the eight yards instead. What a deserved run. Look at that spin. What a decision, man. Really stepping up this week. Dallas in the other end scores, but it's only three points. So if we can get another three points, it will definitely erase what they just did and obviously put in a really bad spot. Saquon to the outside, safe little throw. Makes a nice spin move, gets about three. I mean, Metcalf, does he really even have a chance here? Rolling out, and there's nobody in sight. Murray's got room. Murray's going to slide down to the 38-yard line. The dangerous man himself, almost up to 100 on the ground. This looks like a mistake on the Cowboys' part to start the fourth quarter. Barkley up the middle. Face mask again. Oh, my Lord. Barkley is just a man to be feared. That's going to be another automatic first down. The stats on fumbles don't matter as long as you don't actually give up the ball. If it's not a turnover, I don't care. It's a risky one, but it's a great throw by Murray. That is a redeeming throw if I've ever seen one. A dime to the backup tight end, who's actually had a couple of really good uh, plays this season. And with them not scoring on that drive, that pretty much puts the game in the driver's seat for us. Of course, it looked like they probably turned the ball over. We were looking rough early on, but we, you know, we persevered, came back, and just we're on a steady flow of scoring now. Up the middle, Kyler spinning, tries to slide, can't, falls down to the six. Over 100 for Murray, over 100 for Barkley. Trying to be as safe as I can with the ball. I don't want to throw the ball here at the red zone. Oh, there goes Kyler. There goes Kyler, tries to spin, can't. Takes a hit, doesn't fumble. Whew, probably ends the game. And it will. They do score a touchdown, walk off. But that's just garbage time. We won by 14 plus. Should have been more than 14, but they wanted to cheese the last second. It is what it is, I suppose. Metcalf definitely had a redeeming game because he has been pretty damn disappointed this season so far. But this is one that you can obviously look back on and say he had a good match. You know, he got open. He made some good catches, made some good plays. We ran the ball better than we passed it today, but that's mainly in part by the offensive line just not doing well, uh, consistently at least. Murray was still pretty good, even though we did throw that pick. Just a complete wild throw. Two fumbles and one loss, so two turnovers, but that's fine. Metcalf, two touchdowns, 153 yards, averaging almost 22 yards per catch. That's a good game. The majority of our receiving game as well. Chase Winovich with two sacks. Uh, Jalen Ferguson with a sack. Mark, a lot of sacks today. Uh, the only pick on their side. Kicking was perfect both sides. And that's about all we have left to talk about. So, of course, we moved right on to past the bye week. Five and two. The Redskins on a bit of a losing streak. I think they lost two straight there. Uh, it said negative two. Who the hell did they lose to? I don't know who I'd want. I guess I'd suppose... Uh, division rivals it'd be nice for them to lose to them uh, they did they lost to the Cowboys just just after we beat them by a bit the Cowboys were a smothering defense in fairness so it doesn't shock me that they once again 
Did pretty damn well on defense. Dak Prescott, not really leading to the victory, but good enough, I guess. So, uh, you know, we're back on top, but that's just assuming we, you know, win more games than they do. You know, lose, I guess, suppose lose less games than they do because, you know, they have three losses. We have two. They can't assume we're going to lose, but they technically would have the tiebreaker, so I don't know. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe. We've got a lot of unique kind of franchises and ideas on the channel, I think. Uh, you know, the all-position rookie franchise as well, which I think is a pretty cool idea. Maybe you like the video if you liked it in general. Maybe uh, follow me on Twitter at Trumpy Care. But anyways, hope you guys come back for next video. Appreciate you watching. But until next video, see ya!